Bonjour. Today we're going to talk about the perfect tense of regular verbs conjugated with avoir. Please take some uh, notes and be ready to ask questions at the end. So, what do we use the perfect tense for? Well, in French, we say le chien a mangé la balle, for instance, but in English you can say it three ways. So, you could say, you can translate the sentence saying the dog ate the ball, or the dog has eaten the ball, or the dog did eat the ball. Um, but overall, uh, when we use perfect tense, it's to describe an action that is completed in the past. And we often use it with time connectives, such as hier, la semaine dernière, l'année dernière, il y a quelques jours. Okay? All these time connectives are kind of in a clue that you're going to have to use the perfect tense. How do we form it? So with avoir only, with, that's, only with, that's only our focus today. So most French verbs are conjugated in the perfect tense with avoir. So that's a good thing, good start. And many are regular. So that's great. Um, so let's have a look. Number one, we need to have a subject conjugated with avoir in the present tense. So j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a in the singular forms. And nous avons, vous avez, ils ont and elles ont. In the plural form, make sure that you do pronounce those clearly when you you have a you speak with a um, the examiner or a partner. It has to be clearly je and not je. Tu as, not tu es. Okay, be very careful here. Then we have to add the meaning. So je is the the verb avoir is really an indication that we're talking in the past. Okay, it doesn't have any meaning in itself. And then we add the meaning, and the meaning is carried by the past participle. Okay, so parler, manger, donner, acheter, for the ER verbs. Fini, okay, choisi, for the IR verbs. And attendu, entendu, for the RE verbs. Okay, be careful. Uh, there is, the good thing is there's no agreement of past participle with the subject. Uh, but sometimes uh, students do get confused about subjects. So when I say no, sometimes people don't understand that I am part of that group. Okay, you no is myself and someone else. However, vous is going to be you and someone else. But I am not included in that group. So be careful when you choose your subject pronoun. Now the form negative is can be quite tricky in the perfect tense. So. The negative form makes a sandwich around the conjugated part of the verb, usually. As you know, in the present tense, when we've got le chien ne mange pas la balle, mange is the conjugated part of the verb, and that's why ne and pas go around it. Okay, as a sandwich. But when we look at the past tense, le chien a mangé la balle, the conjugated part of the verb is not manger. That's the past participle. It doesn't vary. It doesn't change depending on who we're talking about. But what changes a? Okay, see, so if I talked about myself, I could say j'ai mangé la balle. Okay? So when we put it in the negative form, it has to go as a sandwich around the, the, the auxiliary. So it turns into this. We're going to put it around A. And we end up with le chien n'a pas mangé la balle. Right, here are, here's a, a list of exercises that you can do. Conjugate the verbs in bracket in the perfect tense. I've added some negative forms. Be careful, uh, number 11 is an extension. Okay, so do not worry if you can't do this um, just leave it or maybe just try and see how you go. Uh, please press pause now and then you can have the, con the correction afterwards. Here are the, the correction. Right. The number one is J'ai célébré mon anniversaire la semaine dernière. You see, you've got la semaine dernière as an indication of time. Ma soeur n'a pas regardé la télévision hier soir. Remember, the negative form goes around uh, the conjugated part of the verb. L'année dernière, ma sœur et moi, ma sœur et moi is we, avons voyagé seul pour aller au Maroc. Number four, pour mon anniversaire, mes parents m'ont donné un très beau cadeau. Mes parents is they, il. Pour son anniversaire, Paul a visité Disney World avec ses copains. Paul is il. Number six, la fête is it. Hein? Elle a fini trop tôt à mon avis. Numéro sept, ton frère et toi avaient répondu. Ton frère et toi are you, vous, ok a une annonce dans le journal. Number eight, ma mère, elle, a choisi son gâteau d'anniversaire. Number nine, mon frère n'a pas entendu cette chanson à la radio. Negative forms around the auxiliary. Dix, mes sœurs ont attendu le bus pendant des heures. Et onze, mes parents, ah, that was tricky, ne m'ont pas aidé à préparer ma soirée. We had a, um, 